You're listening to the Traffic and Conversion Show. I'm your host, Michelle Fernandez. And today we are going to uncover the three secret content components that are essential for a successful webinar. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. Right now, 90% of my clients are using webinars to sell their courses, their memberships, or coaching programs, and all are super duper successful. Like I'm talking earning a minimum of seven figures. So I got super curious to see like what is causing them to convert like crazy. Because here's the thing, you have an amazing course or a product ready to launch, but how do you ensure your webinar captures the attention of your audience and drives conversions? Now, everyone, or presumably everyone, is following the same webinar flow. So what makes one convert over the other? Well, it all comes down to these three secret content components. So let's dive in. Now, we all know that we need to provide value, like Avi, right? Well, the cornerstone of any successful webinar lies in the value that it offers to the attendees. So your content should be rich in insights, provide practical knowledge, actionable tips, and solutions to the challenges that your audience faces. Now, here's what makes your value really hit home, and that is aligning case studies with that particular value or topic. Now, case studies are a powerful, powerful addition to any webinar, really providing real-world examples that demonstrates the effectiveness of your strategies or solutions. So incorporating these case studies into your content really allows you to showcase successful implementations, really highlight the tangible results achieved by past clients or customers. And it, what it starts to do, it builds this credibility and trust with your audience because the mindset of people is, of course, she can do this, right? She's already making millions of dollars. Oh, of course, she can do this. She has this type of money. Oh, of course, she obviously she did it because she has these connections, right? Or she's been doing it for so long, right? So, or whatever other reasons that they give to themselves for their own lack of self-belief. So the case studies are showing real people with real results, and it makes it more obtainable because your clients are more likely closer to where those case studies are than where you are at on your journey. Make sense? So these real life examples not only inspire this confidence in your audience, but it also offers actionable takeaways that they can apply to their own situations, okay? So if you're automatically thinking like, wait, Michelle, I don't even have case studies. This is a new product I'm offering or I'm new to the business. That is okay. You can still use case studies of you know what can happen as a result of doing the thing that you're telling them to do. And remember in the webinars, you're talking about the what and the why, not necessarily the how. So when you show different examples of, hey, look at this is what happened when this happens, that's what I'm going to be teaching you, right? So don't get all hung up on that. Even if you know of somebody else who did it, use them as an example. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. All right. So the second secret is an interactive element. So this whole idea is keeping your audience engaged throughout the webinar. Now, this is paramount to your success. So even if it's a recorded webinar, you are able to do this, okay? So I'm talking about incorporating interactive elements into your content. This can really make the experience more dynamic and participatory, right? Because you don't want them to come in and just be like watching and watching and then, oh, I get a text, right? Or, oh, what is going on in this tab? You wanna be asking them questions. You wanna be having polls, maybe some quizzes, right? Maybe something in the live chat if you are doing a live, maybe you have Q&A at the end, right? 
One is making it interactive that's encouraging the audience to participate and really foster this sense of community. Now, <clears throat> interactive elements not only break the monotony of the one-way presentation, but it also provides valuable insights into your audience's interests and preferences, which really allows you to tailor your content in real time. So think about using this as your market research and really gather the data and optimize your webinar, your presentation, your emails, your course content, fulfillment, like literally everything. You can create these questions that you're asking or these polls for you to gather this content. Even more so, you want to get them to be saying yes, right? So when you say, hey, have you ever experienced that? That's interactive, right? And it's even dropping those little things like, yeah, I have, or, oh yeah, that's happened to me. And then as you're talking, you're also telling the solution, right? Which leads me into the last secret, and that is effective, compelling storytelling. Now, humans are wired to respond to stories, making storytelling a powerful tool for captivating your audience's attention and really driving your message home. So have you ever heard the saying that facts tell and stories sell? Well, it's totally true, right? So we want to weave these compelling narratives into your webinar content using these anecdotes, these testimonials, these case studies, and personal experiences to really illustrate key points and evoke emotion, right? So it's not just the emotion of, oh, you know, this happened to her. It's their own emotional, like if they were in your shoes, because most likely we're all on kind of some journey and at some way, shape or form, something is resonating because we've been through a very, very similar experience. Okay. A well-crafted story not only makes your content more memorable, but it also fosters this deeper connection with your audience, right? Really helping them relate to your message on more of a personal level, because now you shared a little bit of insight on your journey, where right now they're seeing you as this, oh my gosh, she's like up here, she's an influencer, or she's making all this stuff happen. I can never do that. They don't really know where you came from or how you started, right? Like for me, when I like I was doing live videos and my first live video, literally the camera was upside down. <laughs> it, the camera wasn't upside down, but the way I came out was upside down or sideways. I can't remember which one. Right. And at that time, I was teaching a video on how to do live video. <laughs> OK, so it's like people would see you and be like, oh, my gosh, she's so it's such a natural on camera. She's so this. She's got it together. Oh, OK. Well, my first video was like all upside down. All right. So those are the kinds of things that are funny. It's relatable. It's like, dude, don't take yourself so serious, right? We can make this happen. We don't have to be perfect all the time. So use your case studies, interaction, and storytelling to really shift the current beliefs and overcome objections. And the three biggest ones are time, money, and self-belief. Can I do this? So consider having a couple of different stories that are specific to getting them into making this buying decision. And here's the thing, that's just the content on the webinar. However, as a master marketer that I know that you are and or aspiring to be, your journey doesn't end there, okay? In order for you to make the most out of your webinar, you need a well-structured funnel to amplify the impact of your webinar and really drive those conversions. So first, design an irresistible landing page that really captures the essence of your webinar. Utilize persuasive copy, captivating visuals, and compelling testimonials or case studies to convey the benefits of attending. So for instance, you're hosting a webinar on personal finance. Your landing page could highlight success stories of individuals who achieve financial independence using your strategies, okay? So then you want to leverage your email automation capabilities to really nurture your leads and build anticipation for the webinar. 
craft a sequence of engaging emails that provide this valuable content, such as sneak peeks, behind the scenes, right? Insights or bonus resources. And by keeping your audience engaged leading up to the event, you're going to ensure maximum attendance and participation because we can't sell anything if they sign up and don't show up. So how are you getting them so excited like, I cannot miss this event, right? Now, finally, create a seamless sales page where attendees can take the next step after the webinar. So we're talking about clearly outlining the benefits of your course or product, addressing common objections, and offering maybe irresistible bonuses or discounts for early action or fast action, because that's like key, right? You want why they're hot, why they're thinking, you don't want them to have buyer's remorse, you don't want them to take the weekend to think about it, you want to reward those fast action takers. And remember, the key is make it as easy as possible for your audience to say yes to your offer. And the last thing these multi seven and eight figure online business owners have is one marketing tool that they do all of this in. They're not taking risks by duct taping like these seven tool stacks, right? And what do I mean by a seven tool stack? It could be like you have active campaign and then you each thing. Then you have some place where you have your courses at, right? Then you're using Zapier to like connect all these things together, right? And it's like you're crossing your fingers hoping that it's all going to work. If you're considering making a move to a marketing tool that does all the things, like for real, all the things, not like a Kajabi, all the things, right? Where you're like, well, Kajabi does this, but I would really love to have this, this, or that. Head over to OptimaFunnels.com and check out what it's all about. Trust me, you're going to thank me later. So by integrating these secret content components, you will definitely be well-equipped to deliver a webinar that not only educates and inspires, but also drives these meaningful conversions for your business. I appreciate you so much for being here with me today. Until next time, let's grow your business together. <music>